Three, long rebound, Leandre Edwards, who secures and drops it to Tripp into the front court, two on two. Tripp, spin lane in the move, can't, in the lane, can't finish. They're going the other way with Esquina. Gets the contact and gets the foul against Garvin. That might be his fourth. Early fourth quarter, Alex Garvin. Will pick up. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed that Deion Tripp try to spin move instead of attack the basket straight and make the man either fouling or get a bucket. First free throw from Esquina is good. And that is Garvin's fourth foul. That's got to hurt. We take a lot of firepower out of the game. Write that down, 532, fourth quarter. Garvin has to sit with his fourth. We'll see how long Parr keeps him out. Second free throw is short. Edwards secures the rebound and drops it to Daniels who moves it to the front court against Long. Pull up, jump shot, will not go. Rebound Daniels. Daniels. And Daniels. That's, that's what I think that Sumner has to do. They have to attack the basket. They have to make their living at the basket. Johnson into the front court against Tripp. Turnover. Turnover. We might Frank. see something special. Layup is good. That freshman ha has a lot of ability. Sumner takes his first lead. 4.59. Sumner the takes the first lead. Just early in the first half. Calvin Johnson back door. Stolen. Another turnover. Daniels into the front court. Three on one. Sykes again. Finishes okay. at the rim. Three we point see lead. It. We see Sumner got their mojo back. Timeout Piper. Forty-four, forty-seven game, fourth quarter. We're gonna check this replay out. See Calvin Johnson in the lane here. And it's still Sykes out front. And it's with his left hand. We call that a jelly roll. Nice jelly roll with the left hand. But he didn't try to be fancy with it. He went straight to the goal. He was either gonna take contact and get fouled and go to the line or make a layup as he did. And he was able to do, follow that up with another layup. So Derek Sykes, I talked about that in, in my, uh, pregame piece that he would have to step up for Sumner Academy. They needed some contribution from their bigs, and that's a big four points there from the freshman. Right. That wasn't, he wasn't trying to be pretty. That was, you're going to have to block it, or I'm going to make it. 439 in the fourth. We've got another replay here that we'll check out. This Props is for a pass from Daniels. Second layup by Sykes. Nice right hand layup, getting up high. Once again, nothing fancy. He's going straight to the basket, making it. Two big plays by the freshman. Tell In a time I'm where Sumner's been missing bunnies. Johnson moves into the front court. Piper facing a little bit of adversity here. Luke Long. So Daniels providing the pressure. DeAndre getting his hand on that ball. He's looking to get that to skin in the corner, knocked out of bounds. Sumner's providing a lot of pressure this fourth quarter. I like that. Jennings out top against Tripp. Talked about this a little bit with Lecter yesterday about making Calvin go right. Gets the foul. Count it. <coughs> Didn't go too far right, but went far enough to get the, the contact and a foul. And a bucket. Excuse me. Get buckets, because we know what this game is all about. Yes. One point ball game. Johnson has a chance to tie the game at the free throw line. And he does. Been a quality free throw shooter. Womack. Back to trip. Tyrone Jennings on defense out front. Trip makes a move into the lane. Daniels. Resets. Daniels. Again, dropped it to trip. He loses it. Turnover. Edwards having trouble gathering that ball underneath cross court. Tyrone Jennings layup is good as Piper regains the lead. KCK basketball at its best right here. Sloppy game, but a good competitive game. Trip against Jennings. I think the defense is making the game sloppy. Womack to the lane, can't finish the layup. Another missed layup by the Sabres. 
Calvin will come the other way. I don't know how long Parr is going to leave Garvin on the bench. Long will take the three. Good, look long. And just like that, Piper's back up five. Parr takes the timeout to kill the momentum. You know, you know. This is David Brock at the Spring Hill Invitational. We'll be right back. Slow down. Slow down and move over. And move over. When you see lights, vests, or reflectors, please give us some room. Slow down and move over. When you need us, we've got your back. Do you have ours? You got our back? You got ours? You got our back? Please, slow down. And move over. All right, this is David Brock. I'm live Spring what? Hill Invitational. Let me get back away from this TV a little bit. We're live, KCK teams out here in Johnson County, the outer edges of Johnson County, maybe even Gardner, close to Gardner Lake out here if you're a fishing fan. But we're here with Piper and Sumner Academy. What do you think so far about the game, Moses? I think it's a great game. Two KCK teams battling out, a little sloppy, but we can tell that they're KCK teams because they're fighting, yep. you know. And I, I like to see that. The defensive pressure, nope, everybody wants bragging rights. They want to be able to go back and say, we won. These two teams have a good rivalry in football. They meet in sub-state each year. Wasn't much of a rivalry this year as Piper ran all over Sumner Academy on the football field. I can't say um, enough about Luke Long's three before the, the timeout. Big momentum swing. Big shot. Garvin back in the game. Turnover. Denny. And Tripp will pick up a foul. Silly foul. But again, that's the defense there. They anticipated, they saw Garvin moving off their screen, jumps in the passing lane. Got to take care of the basketball. Silly foul by Tripp. He's got to understand as a senior that that puts them in the double bonus. Now they're shooting two. And what's more, that gives him his fourth. Tyrone Jennings makes the first free throw to extend the lead for Piper. Sumner going on a little bit of a drought here on offense. A little frustration by Tripp. Second free throw is good. Final three minutes. Garvin back in the game with those four fouls. Tripp drives the lane up. Good. And Count the bucket. And one. Makeup. Makeup. Good senior. Makeup for a mistake. Tripp's had a little trouble at the free throw line. Let's see, can he? I actually talked to Tripp over the break on his free throws. He looked good the other day from the line, so he's made a few adjustments. First free throw is good. Good so job. Didn't make, didn't make me look bad there good by job. knocking that down. <laughs> Luke Long. Four point game. Jennings. Out top against Garvin. And Dion, that free throw looked real good, sir. Johnson out top to Esquina. Three and pointer on the it. way. No good. Rebound, Alex Garvin, good tip there by Sykes to keep that ball alive. Trip in the lane, drops it to Sykes. Sykes reverse layup. Very good, the young freshman making the impact here. Two Sumner. point game again. Sumner goes on a mini run here. 220. Two. Sykes is very good around that basket. Love the play here by Sumner Academy making Calvin Johnson go right. The lefty, Luke Long. Daniels against Sykes. Check that long against Sykes. Johnson comes to get the ball. Again, Deion Tripp sets him up to make him go right. Not giving him his left hand right here. Far as working the coach, he's wanting that five second call. Right he goes, in the lane, drops it. Dominic Jennings, who cannot finish, but will get the foul. Got a replay coming up here. Dominic Jennings goes to the free throw line. Deion Tripp again, the freshman. Man, Sykes is, is very athletic. Shows big promise. See him be able to get this reverse layup here. One dribble, puts it in. Sykes was our award winner last year for our middle schools. Oh yeah, something special we've seen him. 
Second free throw is no good. Sykes unable to clear the rebound, but Garvin does. Down three, trip into the front court. Winding down, fourth quarter. Tight ball game, trip. Cross court, no good. Chip Daniels. Reset out top. With Don't have time to hold Thompson. it. Got Garvin's to make. Trying to get off a screen. Takes the handoff. Dribbles into the lane. Definitely don't need a three here. You just need to get a bucket. Turnover, Turnover by Johnson. Joel Daniels. Gets a foul on the butt. Doesn't matter either way. They're going to the free throw line. Foul is on the floor. One minute, six seconds. Three point ball game, fourth quarter. And McDonald said to check back in for defense. Looks like uh, Jennings was hobbling a little bit over here. First Solid free throw, free throw shooter, Calvin, Calvin Johnson. Johnson might be the best fourth quarter free throw shooter in the city. Young man puts it down in the fourth quarter when it counts the most. Four point lead here with a minute six. That's another trait of a good point guard. Solid free throw shooting, especially in the fourth quarter. Trip. Summer now has got to be quick. Down five. Garvin works off the screen. McDonald in his face. Three pointer is no good. Tipped away, collected by Johnson, who goes the other way. Layup up and good. Good job, Calvin. And the Piper Pirates, full timeout by good Summer. Good job. I like how he didn't try to force it, try to make another pass. Just kept the ball in his hand. Either foul me or I get the two. Great job by the senior, Calvin Johnson. We'll check out a replay here. Calvin Johnson going the other way. Had Matt McDonald on the opposite side. Made a nice move on Garvin, who with four fouls didn't want to pick up that fourth foul. Good recognition. Pulled out the red flag and said Olay. <laughs> and Calvin Johnson went right through for the layup. Well, we're in a 59-52 ball game with 47 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Have to see what Sumner do. They have that much comeback in them. Seven points. I got to be honest. I called it 61-56 for Piper in my write-up for the game. I, I don't know if I'm going to be right on, but we're going to see. Were <laughs> well, you close there? We're close to that. All these players have stepped up. You know, coming out, Dan I think Joel Daniels has had a real strong game. I really like what the freshman has done, too, but maybe a little bit too, too little too late. If we would have saw a little bit more of that in the first half, the ability to finish at the rim for both squads, really, but that could have definitely got Sumner back into the ball game. Sumner missed a lot of a lot of layups. At one point, it was seven. That's 14 points that they could have used uh, at this time. I'll tell you, I, it will take a miracle at this point. Well, we we'll have to find out if Sumner believes in miracles. As trip tries to I don't think I heard court. anybody sing yet. Trip. Got to go quick now. Garvin goes to the corner. Edwards turns in the lane, can't finish. Gets his own offensive rebound. Tries to pass Garvin for three. No good. Rebound. In and out. Dominique Jennings. Parr wanted that foul when Garvin shot. Seconds. They need to the foul here. They don't want to foul him. They don't want to foul him. Mr. Ice in his veins. And I think that will about do it. That three was going to be needed. In and out for Alex Garvin. Parr trying to work the foul there. Didn't get it. I heard her clearing her throat. She's, she's about to sing. I heard her clearing her throat. Calvin Johnson. Oh, he missed one. This is a free throw. Still up seven with 20. As Confidence. Piper will clear out. Confidence. Coach Wallace told his players, get off, the, get off the free throw line. We don't need no fouls. My point guard's going to make it. Definitely don't want to go over the back. Missed two. And Moses Wyatt, the jinx. <laughs> 15 seconds, Daniels in the lane, no good. Rebound, Calvin Johnson. And the Piper Pirates will claim their 10th straight victory and move to 10-1 on the season. And play for the championship of the Spring Hill Tournament. The second championship, I mean, they won the Payola Tournament earlier this year as well with a surprise win over Harmon. Yes. Uh, at some point, we got to stop calling them surprises because this team is playing with a lot of confidence now, playing great defense, showing ability well, to get to the basket and score. They are red hot. They, 
They have really put together a nice win streak and some quality wins along the way in the win streak. Parm and Lansing, I mean, it's not say, you can't say competition at this point anymore. Right. Second free throw from Johnson is good. I didn't say anything, he made two. 61 to 52. Uh-oh. Two Four points seconds. put you at. I need a trip to make that three, and I'd have been money right there on my prediction. Uh. One second remaining. We will get Coach Wallace to come by here and sit down and talk to us. 61-52 is the final. This is David Brox. We'll be right back with Coach Wallace after this commercial break. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all working with United Way for a million little reasons. The kids of our communities to ensure their academic success all the way to graduation day. You see, it takes about 12 years to create a graduate but it takes the same time to create a dropout. And the difference between a kid becoming one or the other could be a professional athlete or it could be you. Studies showed the earlier we get to kids, the better their chances. So become a United Way volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor, and make a difference in the life of a child for the life of that child. Give, advocate, volunteer, live United. Join your favorite NFL players. Take the pledge. Go to unitedway.org. Slow down. Slow down and move over. And move over. When you see lights, vests, I'll be flaggers. Please, give us some room. Slow down and move over. When you need us, we've got your back. Do you have ours? You got our back? You got ours? got our back? Please, slow down. And move over. The next great entrepreneur is out there. A person with a passion to turn an idea into a business, create jobs, grow the economy, and change the way we live, work, and play. The next great entrepreneur is out there. Will it be you? An entrepreneur with an idea can change the world. Get started now at willitbeyou.com. Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go. One hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, no, no. That's medium well. What? Are you calling me a liar? This thing is practically burnt. That's it. You're not going to come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Is, I don't really you, gotta, you wouldn't do it there. You gotta be crazy. So don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. All right, it's David Brock. We're back live. Coach Steve Wallace, good victory. Appreciate it. Thank Another you. Another hurdle to be clear for this Piper squad. What did you tell your team after the game? Well, I haven't got in there yet, but I'm going to go in and tell them it's a great job. I mean, this is a Kansas City, Kansas school that's had a lot of tradition, and it's great for what we're trying to build. Um, and I'm just proud of the guys. They competed so hard tonight. You got a lot of, I mean, I hate that you can't just point out one player on this team because you got so many people that can contribute. Who was your key to the uh, game for you? I really thought Tyrone Jennings stepped up and, and played huge because he was guarding Garvin all night and really did a, a pretty good job of not giving him any space and making tough shots. It was team defense, but man, he really worked hard to make Garvin's life tough. Calvin Johnson got in early foul trouble in the first half. Didn't get many minutes, but was real big in the fourth quarter, knocking down those free throws and then finishing at the basket. Yeah, he's got a lot of confidence right now. He's got that, that senior mojo. He's in a comfort zone, and, you know, he's so fast. I mean, there at the end, he flew by some guys in fast breaks. You can't teach that. 
Both teams were having a little bit of trouble getting defensive rebounds. A lot of offensive rebounds given up. Is that something you guys talked about at halftime? For sure. That was the number one thing on our list. We had them for nine offensive rebounds in the first half. I don't know what they finished with, probably at least double that. I mean, every time out, I was like, we got a box, we got a box, because they were scoring, they were getting most of their points off of the second and third shots. You guys built an 11 or 12 point lead early third quarter. You came out and scored a quick five, but Sumner made a run. I mean, you probably expected that to happen. You think they made, your team might have got a little bit overconfident there for a minute? Uh, I think we got a little sloppy with the ball. We loosened up defensively. We, we, we got fat and happy when we should have just, we should have kept tightening it up, and that's just still a learning experience. Sumner's used to winning. I told them they were going to be throwing a punch at us, and we had to take it and give one back. Ten in a row. Are you surprised, or are you at a point now where you just know that you have a good, solid team all around players that can contribute and get you some Ws? I just think the guys have come together, and they enjoy playing with each other. They go out, and they compete every single night. And it started over the summer, and even at the end of last year when we weren't winning games, we were still coming together as a team. And you know, I'm, I don't know if I would have predicted 10-1, and one, but I knew we would be a much better team this year. Absolutely. You got to watch this Eisenhower squad with me yesterday. What did you think of the Evans kid? He's going to be the best player outside of Shimmy Ojale that we see, I think. We'll have to see if he can get by this Spring Hill squad. I guess I, I'm expecting this team. They're not ranked number three in the uh, state. I'll tell you what, eight. Spring Hill gets up and down the court fast. I mean, they'll take it out. And they're, they're a run-and-gun type team, so you never know what's going to happen. Absolutely. So I'm David Brock. I'm here with Coach Wallace. We appreciate you coming by and talking to us. Congratulations on the win, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Appreciate you guys being here. Thanks no a lot. No problem. This is David Brock. We'll be right back. Slow down. Slow down and move over. And move over. When you see lights, vests, I'll be placards. Please give us some room. Slow down and move over. When you need us, we've got your back. Do you have ours? You got our back? You got ours? You got our back? Please 